Thanks, sir. Speak to Chris and Sue, United Lights of Fire from the United Nations. This thing is just coming into us, but we're going all the United Nations to control. Arriving in Afghanistan, this is something of a surprise, but it's loud and it's secrecy. What did we know about this? Well, we know that they've arrived yeah. in Kabul, not just the Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed, but also the uh, Executive Director of UN Women, Seema Bahaus, and the Assistant Secretary General of Development and Political Affairs. Uh, we know that they've been speaking to many countries and representatives uh, in the Gulf area, in Europe, around Davos, uh, to discuss the situation of women and girls in Afghanistan. This has obviously been a big concern at the United Nations, as Afghanistan has been chipping away at the rights of women and girls, recently announcing that they can't go to university, that they can't work with NGOs. Uh, so we know that there have been a lot of discussions taking place, particularly for focusing on other Muslim countries. Uh, and what we're hearing from the United Nations and the spokesperson for the Secretary General just a short time ago uh, telling us that these conversations are showing broad support for restoring women's and girls' rights in Afghanistan and that there has been, in fact, an agreement in principle to hold a conference in a Muslim country in March that deals with this subject in particular. Uh, so clearly there's an attempt to rally support from other countries, particularly Muslim countries, uh, to put pressure on the Taliban and to restore those rights in the country there. So this was, a, as you say, an unexpected visit, uh, clouded in secrecy, probably for protection purposes, um, but a very high-level delegation uh, of some of the most powerful women at the United Nations going to the country to uh, make the international community's voice heard on the subject. Okay, Chris and Sumi, many thanks for bringing us ladies and gentlemen to be able to give you a very close eye on the fact that those efforts are yet underway uh, in Afghanistan. Actually, sharply wondering what the demand not, I have to say, 